finger out on somebody else. Don't you have any manners at all? My aunt told me I'm not to be silly and talk to your kind anyway. She said she'd leave me in a place like this if I didn't stop my nonsense. Delphine! But it wasn't my fault! Then whose fault was it, Delphine? My fault, Aunt Alba. I'm very sorry. Fine. Come along, and I'll deal with this at home. You've made enough of a spectacle of both of us for today, I think. Hello, ladies. Perhaps you have regularly experienced gentlemen stopping you on the street in an attempt to woo you? Well, remember, ladies, you have to be polite when turning down their advances. After all, there is a social contract that comes with femininity. It's not every gal or Joe who gets stopped daily to get interrogated about who you're seeing and where you're going. <laughs> you lucky so-and-so. Well, what do you say to deter those amorous suitors? We, at the Foundation for Ladylike Behavior, have come up with some handy tips on how to gently turn down a gentleman. Explain you're already spoken for. Don't have a significant other? Invent one. Make a believable excuse to leave. Inform them your phone is broken. Discuss how your pet is the most important man in your life. Make him question your mental health. Be a man with a little patience and a little politeness. You, too, can be the queen of proper etiquette. Remember, just because your key ring works like brass knuckles <laughs> doesn't mean you should use it. <laughs>